Canadian correspondent Mike Shoesmith. He is with us, and he is the executive editor of PNN News and Ministry Network. He's also an author and a syndicated blogger, and uh, he's also a licensed private investigator in the great nation of Canada. And uh, he's been with me practically ever since this show cranked up many years ago. So, uh, really, what Donald Trump is saying is, okay, all of you people who are in charge of your countries, make your country. It's not, it's not America first to beat down all the other countries. That's right. America first, uh, Haiti first, Canada first, uh, Australia first. Put your countries first, and let's have a good neighbor's policy. Yes. So that we can each contribute to the global society as members of the global society, giving the best that we can from our nations. You know, America doesn't have the natural resources that Canada has. By far, Canada has so much to offer the world, but we are destroying ourselves from within. For example, Canada, we had our own State of, the, State of the Union address on Wednesday when Canada passed a bill that renders the national anthem gender neutral. Oh, that no! Wednesday. Wait yeah. a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Canada changed its national they anthem did. to be gender neutral? We did. The House of Commons overwhelmingly passed a... This is our State of the Union, folks. The <sighs> House of Commons overwhelmingly passed a private member's bill in, uh, in 2016 which altered the national anthem by replacing in all thy sons command with in all of us command, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, Canada is very uh, gender fluid as far as, as far as its acceptance of, you know, gay marriage and, and uh, you know, uh, the proper pronoun. By the way, in Canada now, in Canada now, it is illegal to use the female pronoun for someone who, who, you, who was born female but wants to be considered a male. Now, what do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean illegal? What illegal. happens? What happens if I do? What happens if I slip up and then somebody wants to press charges? What happens? What do you, you mean? You can be you can be charged with hate speech in Canada if someone <laughs> oh, considers themselves to be um, to be a girl, <laughs> but in fact they were born with the with an X and a Y chromosome, and you refer to them as Mrs. or Ma'am, or rather Mister, uh, when that person uh, considers himself to be yeah. a female. If you say, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Smith, when that person is like, wait a minute, I'm dressed like a girl, I have breasts like a girl, uh, I still have the male package, but I'm, I'm thinking about getting that removed also. I am a female, and you say Mr. Smith, uh, that person could have you charged with hate speech in Canada. Oh That's where we're at gosh. today. Gosh, how demonic is that, Mike? And after reading Gods and Thrones, you know what's behind all of that. But I mean, oh how demonic is that? Oh, my right. gosh. And, you know, and I'm laughing, but I'm not laughing at you. I don't know what I'm laughing. I'm just laughing because it seems so surreal. But that's, right. where, that's where we were headed in America. If, if Hillary Clinton was president right now, that, that's where we would be going right now, full steam ahead. And we may still right. get there. I don't know how long Donald Trump and people like him can stay in office, but we may still get there in America. Um, America and the church had better wake up. Just watch Canada. Right, and then this bill was, was uh, proposed in the House of Commons in 2016. It became law on this past Wednesday. So now we have a gender... But the, the Canadian National Anthem is actually a prayer. Part of the prayer goes, God keep our land glorious and free. Yeah. But, uh, if, I mean, uh, the, the blessing of God, I can't imagine that God has, is, has any interest in blessing Canada until Canada returns to God, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, now, now, make no mistake about this. This is not about... Okay, so they changed the word, uh, and all our sons command, to all of us command. But the all of us is not about girls entering the military. It's all about the, it's all about the LGBT community, which is now uh, the most protected community in Canada, is the LGBTQ community. Yeah. The lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer community in Canada is what the us is. Yeah. And in case you're you're thinking, oh, Mike's not, Mike's not, uh, you know, this this can't be right, uh, 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 you know, that, that can't be true. Well, I wonder if they're about to include this. Okay, uh, the Daily Wire is reporting, and this was on, uh, I believe this was on Drudge also. Uh, trans age, trans age, a pedophile was charged with abusing three girls. He says he's a nine year old trapped in a man's body. Carl, this guy is actually 38 years old. He says he's trans age, a Chicago man accused of sexually assaulting two six-year-old girls and an eight-year-old on repeated occasions told police officers that he's really a nine-year-old trapped in an adult's body, yeah. prosecutors revealed on Wednesday. Well, how is that any different from a man trapped in a woman's body yeah. or a woman trapped in a man's body? How is that any different? Biologically yeah. speaking, yeah. these women 
who are born female who want to tr- transition into a, a male uh, existential reality, that's impossible. Yeah. Because these people have to stay on hormones the rest of their lives, Carl. This isn't this just a, this isn't a therapy that they go through for three, four, five, ten years, and then it's over. They got to stay on these hormones the rest of their lives, otherwise they revert back to what they and, are. And, it, it, and it does ex- <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm sorry. I was just saying, and you and I know, based upon the the scientific evidence, which is enshrined at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington D.C., this fact in the geological paleontological area that even after they pass, whether they were on hormones or not. That if somebody comes a hundred years later and digs up their grave and they find the bones, what are they going to find, Mike? <laughs> well, they're going to if they dig up uh, Bruce Jenner in in, uh, in a thousand years, they're going to say this was a dude. Yeah, why? Because the bone structure and all of that. The bone structure says That's... what you are. Women have the bone structure that allows them to have a, in my case, a nine pound, eleven ounce boy <laughs> come through that canal. Women have the bone structure to accommodate that. The Men pe- do not. Yeah, the pelvic structure of a woman right. is entirely different. And not only the pelvic structure, but the hip structure and some other bones. You can tell if it was a female or a male by the bone right. structure. Right. A, a thousand years after they've died, if you can dig up their bones, you can know what they were. So somebody digs up Bruce Jenner's bones, they'll say, well, we don't know who this belonged to, but it was a man. Regardless, <laughs> regardless of all the people that went to jail for calling him a woman, I mean, and I just know, Carl. Many of your listeners are sitting there going, "Wait a minute, that guy in Chicago, he's just made that up just so he could avoid jail time." Uh, absolutely not. A guy in Canada says that he he now this guy, this guy, he's fifty two years old. He left his wife and kids to live as a transgender six year old girl named Stephanie. This is a real, this trans age thing is a real thing, folks. This is the next step down the slippery slope. Uh, a Canadian man who was married with seven kids has left his family in order to fulfill his true identity, quote unquote, as a six year old girl. In an emotional video with gay news site, The Daily Extra, in collaboration with the Transgender Project, Stephen Key, pronounced Stephen Nee, Walsh, 52, of Toronto, says she, they're referring to this guy as she, well, please realized, <laughs> realized she was transgender rather than simply a cross-dresser at age 46, split from, to even the Daily Mail is referring to this guy as a her, split from her wife <laughs> yeah, split from after her she wife. told her husband to stop being trans or leave. Now he lives, now he lives with friends who can, who he can, uh, I could go to jail for calling him a he, <laughs> because I'm now these this, these people that this guy lives with refers to them as his adoptive mommy and daddy as a six year old girl dressing in children's clothing yeah. and spending his time playing and coloring yeah. with his adoptive parents. Yeah. And that and condition, children. that condition, is in all the psychological journals. It is a mental condition. It, it, it it's sad. Thank it's you. sad. It's sad. It's mental. But now you and I both know more than likely there's something deeply spiritual involved as well. And the oh whole boy. the <laughs> whole the whole concept is demonic. Whether a particular individual oh. has some kind of hormone imbalance or not, I, I mean, I get that. But but this is is just horrible. Hey, listen, Mike, we're gonna have to take a time out. We're gonna come back. American Survival Wholesale is proud to sponsor this ministry and their efforts to shed light on the issues that face our nation. As a veteran and Christian-owned and operated company, we support the freedom to express these Christian principles. We all understand the importance of being prepared. After witnessing the devastation of Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and the wildfires that affected so many, please support this ministry by clicking on the link below and check out the amazing alt media package for our listeners. Plus, if you use the promo code PNN radio, that's PNN radio, you will receive free shipping, a savings of up to $200. Just click on the link below, but please do it today. Your support means so much to this channel. 